satanic mon monument movement too that may include an interactive display for children well it could go up at the oklahoma state capitol right next to the ten commandments and a satanic temple member says the state government brought this upon itself because putting up the ten commandments in the first place makes a religious statement our faith panel weighing in now, Bill Donahue, the president of the Catholic League, David Silverman, the president of American Atheists, and Rabbi Shmuley Boteak. <laughs> I hope I got that right. You Founder got it. of you This got World, it. the Values America. Network. All right, because you have the toughest name, yeah. starting with you, Rabbi, today. All right, you kidding me now? Are we making a mockery of everything with regard to Christianity in this society? Now we're going to have a satanic monument next to the Ten Commandments, really? Yes, yes, really. <laughs> the 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 entire point of putting up something like that next to your Ten Commandments, since it's on public land and, and if it's privately funded, they're allowed to do it or whatever. And if, if that's the excuse you use, then they can use the same excuse for any belief, any faith, any religion. So naturally, they can they can do whatever they want, like the Festivus poll next to a nativity scene, because if it's privately funded and, you know, you... you they don't have to clean it up or put it up or whatever. It doesn't cost the government ever any money. Whatever your excuses for shoving Christianity everywhere are, anybody else can use them. That is the point of what they're doing. Right? They, they are showing you that your arguments are no good when you extend them to everybody. When you give everyone the same rights that you think Christians should enjoy, all of a sudden Christians are up in arms. Just like atheists are up in arms that Christians have, you know, think they have those rights in the fucking first place. Are, are you getting it? Obviously not. A little too dumb. Well, if they can find one satanic worshiper among the founding fathers, maybe Benedict Arnold and Aaron Burr, perhaps, then that we can be traced back to some American heritage. What? Why? Why does it matter what the religion or faith of the founding fathers is at all? Like, so if you could find a Muslim founding father, then then that would mean like you should be able to impose Islam on everybody. If you find an atheist founding father or an agnostic, therefore, like, that's how you should run the country, right? I mean, I'm just going by your reasoning here. You need to find a satanic founding father in order for them to be able to endorse any kind of, you know, Satanism. Are you fucking kidding me? What? Why does that matter? You know what? There were no Jewish founding fathers. So, yeah, Mr. Jew guy, uh, I guess we should just ignore and kick out your fucking faith, right? But let's be absolutely emphatic. This is ridiculous. It's not just that it's a mockery. It actually demeans America. America is exceptional because of its values. Now we're going to start worshiping Satan. What are we going to do? Slaughter goats and drink their blood in public? <laughs> and yet, if it's your faith, your Christianity, that, that said you should slaughter goats and drink their blood in public, like, you, that's what you'd be defending. The, the United States worships God. It just doesn't impose the worship of God. And that's the beauty of it. Separation of church and state does not mean that we purge the public sphere of God. On, it means Dave. that we don't yeah. force God on people. So, so when you have the Ten Commandments on public land, the, the taxpayers pay for it, or, or if you have them in a courtroom, or you, you try and shove your religion on, you, you sit there and talk about how, like, we just don't force it on you. Just don't take it away from us. Well, having you allowing you to do that is forcing it on us. You you obviously know the difference. You just in your mind made some kind of you know, I don't know excuse. It's it's pretty sad because when when people understand the arguments and still can explain away in their own heads, like oh well, it's okay because it's like you know. There's more Christians in America than any, you know, other faith or whatever. Therefore, we can choose we can choose to do the Ten Commandments, and, and that's okay because more people will support us than be against us. And, and we can be against the satanic, you know, statue or whatever because there aren't as many people that believe it. You know, basically, your, your faith just depends on how much of the population agrees with you, which is fucking sad. It's not a way to run anything, to decide what the facts are, how people should be treated. Just, just go with what the population thinks. It's fucking retarded. I mean, keep in mind that the, the Christian uh, founding fathers that they always talk about and whatever, they were white men. So basically, anyone who's not a white Christian male should just shut the fuck up according, you know, if you want to take their argument to its base.
It's pathetic. David, you've got, to, you've got to agree with the rabbi, do you not, that this is absolutely a mockery and ridiculous? Absolutely. Not mockery, not ridiculous. The separation of church and state is what makes America great. Religious freedom means the government doesn't take sides, one religion or another. You may not like the Satanists. Guess what? That doesn't matter. Do you? Everybody is equal. Do you? I don't care. All religions are the same So you think it's perfectly to fine to put a satanic there, whatever message they're going to have up there and an interactive no. display for children, by it's, the way? It's not okay to put any of it up there, but it is more not okay to favor one over another. Satan, Phil, but how, Satan? how crazy yes, is Satan. this? I mean, what? You believe in an invisible man in the sky, too. You call what, him what, Satan, whatever, you call him God. No, whatever I, don't it is I believe in, the that, doesn't, that doesn't tell me, teach me to perpetrate to genocide, neutral. slaughter people, or I get I get into their version of heaven by killing people. They're That's not saying the that. Uh, somebody needs to read their fucking Bible. This is a Jew, so I mean, it's the Old Testament. Like the nasty, nasty, nasty mad God. Who, and he's talking about like, you don't do genocide and shit to get into heaven. Like like those Satanists want. <laughs> Except for that's exactly what the God of the Bible like did at himself and and did to other, had other people do for him. Kill this army. Don't even allow their, their freaking goats to live type shit. Crazy shit. But all of that you can just ignore and be like, S but Satanism? I mean, that sounds like scary or something. Like, read your fucking, your Torah, your Bible. Go, go, and fucking understand what the fuck it says. Because I've read, I mean, I haven't read the Torah in its fucking original script, but I've read the Bible in many different versions, multiple fucking times, especially the Old Testament. It is disgusting. It's, it's better than any horror novel you could ever fucking read, mo you know, in modern times. It's disgusting shit. Go read your fucking Bible. Putting up a happy Sales. display. Right. You Sales. don't know what it it's is. It's almost yeah. like they went to the, to the craziest group they could find. No offense. To, to find somebody to go up against the Ten Commandments. I mean, is this how PC we've gotten in our society? Okay, let's all realize that the first bunch of commandments are like thou shalt keep the sabbath day holy that thou shalt have no gods before me thou shalt not take my name in vain thou no graven images all this shit you are you are basically forcing that religion Th those 10 commandments aren't like just moral standards they at the moral standards come at the end of the 10 commandments all the beginning of the first commandments are all about like this is the only god uh, you cannot have any other faith and when you try and force that shit on people and you think it's okay, well, of course, you should also think it's okay for someone else to try and force their other crazy shit. But of course, you have a giant fucking double standard, which is what I can't stand. I, I can see where these people are coming from. I really can. The, the religious, the Fox News, the conservatives, I can see where they're coming from. I can, I can walk a mile in their shoes. But then I can also see that you have to fucking lie to yourself in order to continue believing that. You have to have double standards. You have to be a hypocrite. You, you have to not understand irony in order to keep those positions while you try and force everyone the fuck else out. It's pathetic. And the excuses you use are equally fucking pathetic. Really? Well, it's also how evil we've gotten. I mean, the fact of the matter is the Ten Commandments is an historical monument to our, our Judeo-Christian heritage. Uh, you'll notice that our heritage is also not based on the fucking Ten Commandments. So I don't understand his point here. We are not based on Satanism in this country. Now, if they want to have their little monument, the First Amendment is conditioned on time, place, and manner. It's the wrong time. It's the wrong place. What's the right time and the right place? Uh, maybe in July sometime. I don't know. But cer certainly not at this time of the year. If they you have to worry about your holidays? No, no. no quite frankly, it, look, really? this, this, country, this country was not based on Satan. Now, you may it be mistaken matter. on that. I mean, you may have your own political belief on that. That doesn't matter what that. this country was based on. It, it does. No, listen, they, they can have it. But, to, I'm sorry to double but team not here, but, but here's the point. Go ahead, double team. <laughs> and at least David Silverman understood that he was coming up against a Catholic, a Jew, and whatever the fuck retarded kind of Christian Gretchen Carlson is. He knew that he was going to be the freaking a three to one dog here. This is their fair and balanced, by the way. And while they double team the fucking atheist, and and he does a pretty good job. I mean, what what really needs to be explained to these people is that they've got the double standard. That they think it's okay because, I don't know, because some, you know, if whatever the founding fathers did was all right, then I guess slave ownership should still be okay. Because the founding fathers were so infucking fallible. They, they just could do no wrong, right? So, so whatever, if they own slaves, then fuck it. We could own slaves, right? Because they got nothing wrong. You, you really need to look at your own position. Think about the arguments against, against your position. And then make counter arguments to those 
And if your position is shown to be weak and shitty, which is how I became an atheist, because I used to be, you know, not super religious, but I was religious, and the arguments I had were shown to be shit. I was embarrassed to have to try and defend it because the logic was so trash. And yet here I am, I'm an atheist now, and I'm not trying to defend atheism no matter what. Show me I'm wrong, like politically, religiously, whatever, and I will consider your argument. I am actually open-minded. I have not made my decision, and I'm not just going to go blah, 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 blah. While, while everyone else tries to explain to me how dumb it is that one religion can do something, but the antithesis of that religion or any other religion or the lack of that religion or lack of any religion in general, like, is, is different somehow. Their faith is stronger because um, more Americans are. Founding fathers, says creator. Like, their arguments are such shit. There's no real argument for America as a Christian nation. No, no argument that's any better than America as a white male Christian nation. You're, you're getting desperate. This is the problem. It's one thing to say, you know, we oppose the imposition of the Ten Commandments and you take a rational point Which of view. Which we do. And we, and we let the court sort it out. That's the beauty of a democracy. But to be reduced to Satan worship? It's Come so on. crazy. It's no lower than any other no, but, religion. No, 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 but Sorry. Satanism guys. may wish it were, but Satanism is but no lower than are, Catholicism. Atheist, it's no believe, lower than okay, Judaism. As an atheist, do you, you guys both have religions okay, that do Hard to believe things. there's an even crazier topic out there. Remember this classic Seinfeld moment? Many Christmases ago, I went to buy a doll for my son. <laughs> I reached for the last one I had, but so did another man. As I rained blows upon him, I realized there had to be another way. <laughs> what happened to the doll? It was destroyed. But out of that, a new holiday was born. A Festivus for the rest of us. No, oh, please. That's the classic episode. I mean, the episode was funny, but not Festivus. Explaining the origin of the fake holiday, fake holiday, Festivus. But now a nearly six foot tall Festivus pole made from empty beer cans about to go up at the Florida State Capitol. I'm not kidding. It's part of a not so subtle protest against the nativity scene already on display there. So, so right there, she admits that the Festivus pole is put up as part of a protest of their nativity scene. You understand? Like they're trying to show you that there's your nativity scene does not cover everybody. So they put up a Festivus poll because Festivus is for the rest of us. You get the joke of I mean, ooh, I'm surprised you get many jokes at all. <laughs> like you tell Gretchen Carlson why the chicken crossed the road, and she's like, oh, <laughs> That is fucking good. I hadn't thought about that one yet. Bill, I am so outraged by this. Why do I have to drive around with my kids to look for nativity scenes and be like, oh yeah, kids, look, there's baby Jesus behind the Festivus pole look, look. made out of beer cans. It's Re nuts. Remember Maybe you're not aware that you don't have to drive your kids around looking at nativity scenes. That's your fucking choice. Why don't you go to church to see, see the nativity scene? Or put it in your own yard. Why don't you put up your own nativity scene with your kids? I think that would be better than just driving them around and, and looking at, you know, nativity scenes. A couple of years ago, we had a Supreme Court decision that said the gays in their own contingent could not march in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Okay, leaving aside the, the private segment of it, we don't want to have the Klan out there on Martin Luther King Day with their monuments right next to a bust of Martin Luther King. We don't want to have uh, neo-Nazis out there to stick at the Jews on Yom Kippur. And we shouldn't have people out there ready to thrash Christianity, given that proximity. Let them do it some of the time and some of the place. So let me ask you, um, what's a, what, what atheist holidays are there? What, what is the proper time and place for an atheist to, to, to say, I'm tired of this shit? Like there's, you know, your holidays, I'm tired. What, what atheist holiday do we have? Uh, there, there are none. So what's the proper place for a fucking atheist to finally speak up and say, Jesus, I'm tired of having, like, you do your nativity scene, you want to fucking make the whole front of your goddamn house the Ten Commandments. Paint them real huge in red letters. I don't give a fuck. You want to put the biggest nativity scene so big in your goddamn, you know, yard and driveway that you can't even park there. You're going to have to fucking use my parking spot. I don't care. I don't give a shit. If you're my neighbor, I'm going to probably do a neighborly thing. And I don't give a shit how fucking Christian or, or pissed off with atheists you are because you don't know I'm an atheist because I don't fucking put big atheist things up in my yard during atheist holidays because we don't fucking do that. When are we going to have a voice against this bullshit if we fucking 
if you don't allow us to say it, like say we don't want to impose, oh, well, you know, they don't like the Ten Commandments uh, being in the courtroom. So I guess atheists just shouldn't go to court. We, they don't like nativity scenes, so they just fucking like lock themselves in a bathroom for the entire month of December. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. You really think you're special? Stop using like the the moral majority, uh, the population fucking argument like in your favor. It's pathetic. Well, look, I don't want to be extreme here. I'm not going to compare the uh, atheists to the Klan or to neo-Nazis. They, they are not that. But I will say that I have no problem if atheists want to have a rational display and they want to argue for logic in America and they think that religion is going overboard And because I think that faith has to be balanced with reason. But why is it always something so extreme like beer cans? By the way, I like the why beer cans idea. I wish we had it in this way. Rabbi, Rabbi, my point is David. I'm asking you you throw question. them David, out in the garbage. Dev, David, why is it always on December 25th or because in and around Christmas? Because if you did it question. in July, nobody would care. Uh, I've got a pretty simple fucking answer for you. It's because they don't have nativity scenes up in June or July. You understand? We, we talk about it when it's a fucking issue, you moron. I'm sure the Ten Commandments thing doesn't come down when it's not December. You know, it, it stays there. And, and we have an issue with that. You dipshit. What, what is so fucking hard to understand about not being inclusive? In, being inclusive to 70% of the population or whatever Christianity is, is not inclusive to everybody. You know, 70% of the people think it's okay, you know, to not allow a black guy to marry a white girl or something does not make it okay. It doesn't mean that you get to fucking impose your values on the rest of us. This is a pretty fucking simple concept that you seem to not be able to grasp. Because the season doesn't belong to Christianity. The season belongs to everybody. 80% of America That doesn't matter. Fine, but why? That doesn't Christianity, matter. wait a minute. Christianity stole the season from the solstice. Stole the uh, season? Sorry. You don't even believe that. Uh, you don't sorry. even believe that. Uh, Jeremiah 10, don't deck a hall, don't deck a <laughs> oh, tree of gold. Oh, now all of a sudden, an Listen, atheist is going to cite the Bible I can to cite me? it better That's than authority? you. I can prove it to you. Yes, I can. <laughs> no, I think That's you could quote, you could quote, if you quote it from Satan, I think you'd be more believable. I read the Bible. And here we have the Christian who cannot stand for an atheist to quote their Bible to them, to show them that even their own faith says, no, this is wrong. And then they're like, no, you can't quote the Bible to me. You're an atheist. You don't even believe it. We can still show you your fucking inaccuracies, your, your contradictions, the fact that you, you follow one rule and not the other. You're against gay marriage, but you're okay with eating shellfish and mixing fucking fabrics and shit like that. We can point that out to you. I'm sorry that that hurts you. But uh, it doesn't mean we can't fucking quote it to you. It doesn't mean we have to believe it either. We can show you your fucking hypocrisy playing with your own, uh, on your own terms, with your own fucking book. That, you do, you, you know what? Let me, let me that, state this, No, please. wait, that's a new headline for me. <laughs> yeah, that, right. that, the, that somehow the Christians stole Christmas from the atheists. Absolutely. I don't get it. No, no you don't get it. That, that Christians <laughs> stole Christmas, the, the freaking pagan holiday of winter solstice, from the pagans. You don't you don't get it because you don't fucking research your shit at all. You're like, I was taught some really shallow shit and I didn't think too deeply about it. And I'm fucking going to defend it to the death. I don't give a shit how wrong I can be. Uh, you know, I don't want to research any of the fucking history behind the winter solstice or Christmas or how many fucking gods w were resurrected or any of that shit. I just want to be like, America, Christian, fuck atheist. Well, Fuck you, bitch. I did, and but, let me, but, let me but, make but, this point, and then I'll shut up. There is no wrong way to celebrate the season. It belongs to all of us. You want to do it with religion? I say it's much better without religion. Dump the church. You don't like it Even anyway. Even you have to but, quote but, from the Bible. Happy Festivus but, but for all of us. It's a David. fake holiday. Even guys. you have to quote from the Bible. That's are man -made. I got to wrap all it there. All holidays are man-made. All I, of them. I don't quote from Satan, but you have to quote from the Bible. Well, you guys continue. I got to go. And I did enjoy David Silverman's point there and it's everyone's holiday. I've got a Christmas tree up in my house right now for my, you know, my daughter. We do Christmas presents. We talk about Santa. Of course, we, we let her know that Santa was white just like Jesus. <laughs> you know, eh, stupid fucking Fox News bullshit. Th this made up stuff is so important to them. So important. And they do not want it to be challenged. Uh, they, they seem to think that Atheists and Satanists are like the same thing, which just shows you how deep they really think about this shit, and which is not very fucking deep at all. Cocktopus out.